Bambo. Come on and play with me. Let's go. Boo, I'm waiting. Do not bother me. Oh, Bambo. Why would you need my book? This thing isn't even tasty. Boo, it's a book. You can't eat that. There are so many fun and interesting things for you here. <laughs> like what? For example, why the day follows the night, and vice versa. Wait, wait a minute. You're telling me someone doesn't just turn a switch on and off? Of course not. If you want, I'll tell you what's really going on. Of course, of course, of course! Well, then let's fly out into space. rotation around its axis, there is one side facing the sun and the other is facing away. Because of this, the sun's rays fall on one side and then, when it turns, the sun hits the other side of the Earth's surface. On the side looking towards the sun, we have daytime. On the other side, it is night. So this is why there is a change of day and night. Whoa! Is this really how that works? Let's check! See, look here, this side of the Earth is facing the Sun, and it is daytime. And on the other side, it is night. Oh, but I just wanted to sleep. No time for sleep, it's time to fly back to Earth. Bambo, I'm so tired. Can we make it happen so there are two nights in a row? Well, that is something we can do. Now I'll tell you why. To start, we will turn off the lights. So then, we will need one lamp, one watermelon, and two flags. So we put a flag on one side of the watermelon, and the other on the other side, and the light from the lamp will shine light on one side, then on the other side, now, the light shines on the side with the red flag. And now, on the side with the blue flag. The Earth makes a complete rotation every 24 hours. The Earth continues to spin all the time forever. And that the Earth is always going in a long path around the Sun. And this is why there will be always the night after the day, and the day after the night. I had no idea. That is so cool. Now, boo. Come with me and we will read a book and learn so many new things! Hello friend! How cool that you came to visit me! Today is such a sunny day, we should go outside to play on the playground! Sun. It was just there, but now it's gone missing. This is a solar eclipse. I've never heard of it. What is it? I'll tell you. 
But first, let's fly with me into space. Let's go. Unbelievable! So, friend, as you know, the planets and their satellites, also called moons, are not standing still. The Earth revolves around the Sun, and the Moon revolves around the Earth. And from time to time, there are moments when the Moon's path wholly or partially blocks the Sun. In other words, the solar eclipse is when the Moon covers the Sun completely or partly from those who are on our planet Earth. Look, the sun, the moon and the earth stand on one line. How cool! From two to five solar eclipses can occur per year on the earth. And now it's time to go back. Wait, 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 wait. But the moon is so much smaller than the sun. How could it block it out completely? And that's what I'll tell you back on earth. Bambo? Rather tell me about the eclipse of the sun. Look, Boo! Here you have a big soccer ball. Let's say it's the sun. And I have a little tennis ball. It's the moon. When we put them side by side, the sun is many times larger than the moon. And now, let's just move over the balls from each other. Little by little, the sun hides behind the moon. And it only looks like they have the same size. And all this is thanks to the distance. It is very interesting, Bambo. Thank you so much for telling me about the solar eclipse. You're welcome. And now let's continue to play ball. And with you, dear friend, it's time to say goodbye. And if you are as interested in something as Boo, ask your questions in the comments and I will answer them. Come back to visit us soon. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.